Well, British Petroleum is reporting a giant discovery at the Tiber Prospect in the Gulf of Mexico, estimated to contain over 3 billion barrels of oil. The discovery could help BP boost output in the region by 50%. But it won't be easy. The oil is more than 35,000 feet under the seafloor, and that is deeper than the height of Mount Everest. And that's what you're looking at right there. Uh, for more on this, we're going to discuss the issue in depth. That was my bad pun. Got it. We're going to talk to one of the foremost experts on oil exploration and production in the world. Thomas Petrie is a vice chairman of Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Tom founded Petrie Parkman in 1989, which he then sold to Merrill in 2006. And he joins us now from Denver, Colorado. Tom, thanks for coming to the show. Let me ask you, first Good of all, to be here, Matt. you know, when I read this story I, I, as a layman this morning, I was shocked. I mean, it seems like such a huge find and it seems like so deep to drill. What was your take? Well, you're, you're exactly right. It, it actually, they drilled the well down to 35,000 feet. The oil was found at about 32,500, still deeper than, than Everest is high. Uh, and that means there's a lot of technical challenge to developing this. And so one of the messages in this news is really that sophisticated companies uh, that understand what the future looks like, like BP, recognize that there's a real shift in the character of the business. So what does that mean, Tom, to you, that there's a lot more oil out there potentially? It's just really down there, you know, down there deeply, and it may cost a lot of money to go after it? Yes, uh, there is, this is part of a trend. There are a number of other structures in this trend. Uh, this lower tertiary uh, play that is developed is providing some encouragement. And, uh, and so I think we will see uh, other efforts at new discoveries, and I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see other new discoveries. Uh, but this is the kind of new oil that's replacing uh, the old cheap oil. And so it takes today's price and, and even higher prices, perhaps, uh, not too far down the road to, yeah. to justify bringing these kinds of resources to market. Yeah, I was going to ask, you know, at what point does it make sense to go down this deep? Because obviously it's got to be so expensive and so difficult to do it. It, it does. I mean, we, you know, in, in the old days when you'd spent uh, one to ten million dollars on a well, that was considered expensive. We're in the hundred million plus, hundred and fifty, two hundred million dollar cost per well. Uh, so you you better have some conviction that you're going after a fairly large target. One other clarification: I believe the three billion that BP has alluded to is an in place number. So the recoverable is probably about a third of that, or about a billion barrels, which is still large, but uh, it's not going to put us back into an oil surplus. Uh, uh, even with a series of these discoveries. And, and you do believe that we're at peak oil, basically, or as you put it, practical peak oil. That's right, and that's an important distinction, Matt, because uh, why are we, why do I think we're at peak oil? Partly because geologic limits, uh, we're not finding as many giant fields in low-cost areas as we used to, but also partly because of political limits. Uh, the U.S. has put offshore uh, limit, or limitations on offshore development in areas that uh, the USGS believes has 80 to 90 billion barrels of potential resources. With with those off limits, that that contributes to a to this peaking process, and that's a political or a policy decision, not a geologic issue or a limitation. Hey Tom, just got 20 seconds left here, so this certainly seemed like big news this morning. Just give us a little perspective here. I'm thinking for investors who are at home listening, watching the energy markets. I mean, what's the most important takeaway from this discovery? Well, I think I think the important takeaway is uh, how important oil is still part of the total energy equation, and there is a good supply outlook uh, if we if we continue to let companies go after these kind of targets. In fact, uh, we can reduce our import dependence mm -hmm. and improve our overall energy security. All right, hey Tom, thanks so much for joining us. Tom Petrie, there, uh, Vice Chairman at Bank of America, Maryland.